So hello children, we move on to part 6 of my video lectures on fraction but this is my first video lesson on exercise 4D where we learn addition of fractions. As we have done in the last 5 part you have learned a lot of thing about fractions and we have many parts to come, many more parts to come because this is a very big extensive chapter at least I think after this you may have 9 to 10 more video lessons on fractions so we are into the fourth exercise addition of fraction so first thing with my first example you will see first two sums of exercise 4D question 1 part 1 and part 3 addition of like fraction so like fraction what the concept says sum of numerator by common denominator so what we do sum of numerator by common denominator sum of generally what we do children we see the denominator 7 7 common denominator then add the numerator we get 5 by 7 same way here children common denominator common dtr means denominator ntr means numerator some book they use nr and dr but t word is generally what because numerator and denominator the word t also comes very prominently 7 common denominator add the numerator 11 by 9 this is improper fraction numerator more than denominator you can change it to mixed fraction 9 ones are 9 this I have done in my uh, I think part 2 or part 3 video you see nicely how to convert improper to mixed so I get 1 2 by 9 9 ones are 9 2 11 11 by 9 so how to convert I have made a separate video on I think in part 3 of fractions video you see so once more addition of like fractions common denominator sum of numerator if it is improper convert it to mixed now if we uh, this second one also is here addition of like so here we have 12 so write 12 common denominator add the numerator so how much we get children 7 plus 5 12 12 and 11 23 by 12 again change this into mixed fraction so this is 1 9 by 12 so we add the numerator common denominator this is improper fraction we convert it to your mixed fraction so kindly pause the video and copy. So children, if you see here, one very small uh, mistake is done. If you subtract, you will get 11, 23 minus 12. So you know this quotient upon remainder. So this will be 11 by 12. So 12 ones are 12. I did not check it back. You can just convert mixed fraction back to check whether it is correct or not. So 12 ones are 12 plus 11. 12 plus 11, 23 by 12. So kindly rectify and then we move on to your addition of unlike fraction. So unlike fraction, what will you see? There are two methods. Reduce them to like fraction so first method I'll call it method 1 I'll show you and this I'll call it method 2 method 2 children it's very nice ultimately you have to do like this but for you maybe you see which one you like so first method 1 I'll show you is here make them to like fractions you see my earlier sums find LCM of 12 and 16 this goes with the first prime number then again and nothing is common here so you can stop here 
so your LCM is 4 3 is 12 4 is 48 so 5 by 12 how will you make 48 12 4 is 48 so 5 4 is 20 and 9 by 16 how will you make 48 16 3 is 48 I have explained in my previous video and this video also 9 3 is 27 now I have converted them into like fraction now in place of adding 5 by 12 I will write 20 by 48 because 5 by 12 is equivalent to 20 by 48 in place of 9 by 6 I will write 27 by 48 once more in place of 5 by 12 because 20 by 48 is equivalent in place of 9 by 16 you write 27 by 48 now we go to rule number one common denominator write the denominator and add the numerator so here we have common denominator add the numerator and this children is a proper fraction so proper fraction we don't convert to mixed fraction so kindly pause the video and copy 3 part 1 so I told you I'll tell you method 2 so here you saw we in the first method we converted them into like fraction and we went back to this once it becomes like fraction we follow sum of numerator by common denominator but in most of the book including your book there is something called shortcut method so very similar it's a little hard for you now but this is better than the previous one because it saves your time and space so here how we do in method 2 so like before you find the LCM so I showed you LCM of these two is 48 so take the common LCM now see you should know tables very nicely 12 how many times it goes in 48 12 4 is 48 so multiply this by 4 once more 12 if you multiply by what how many times 12 gives you 48 it is 4 za. multiply 4 with 5 16 how many times when you multiply means that is 48 by 16 so 16 3 za 48 so this will be multiplied with 3 so you get 4 5 za 20 3 9 za 27 so you get the same answer this is my method 2 which is in the book called shortcut method once more take the lcm see how many times this denominator goes four times multiplied with four this see how many times 16 goes 16 goes three times with 48 so 16 three times so three nines are 27 if you have any problem you rewind this video play back see it nicely until you understand because this sum four part two I am going to use shortcut method you can do by this method also but this takes I told you a lot of space so shortcut method is a more matured better way especially when you go to higher classes so if you have any difficulty you follow this but I'll teach you shortcut method because most of the book including yours they use shortcut method so first thing with shortcut method is children we find the LCM so LCM of 8 16 and 24 okay so as I told you in shortcut mental math method 24 you see whether these numbers are going or not 8 will go 3 times 16 will not go so take the bigger number take it twice 24 to the 48 see all these numbers will go will divide 48 or otherwise 48 is a multiple of all these number anyway if you are finding it difficult please see the method we start with the first number prime number 2 then again more than 2 number will go by 2 
so we do again with two now no more it will go so lcm is 2 into 2 4 is 8 2 is 16 3 is 48 so lcm children is 48 now you see 48 is the lcm now see 8 will go how many times 6 times 8 will go 6 times so 6 into 7 16 will go 3 times so 3 into 9 24 will go 2 times once you divide this over this you get to divide this over this you get 3 divide this over this you get 6 so this 17 will be multiplied by 2 so we get 7 uh, 6 7s are 42 plus 9 3s are 27 plus 17 2s are 34 by 48 okay then we add all this how much you get 4 7 11 to 13 13 1 4 6 and 4 10 so 103 by 48 so in your rough work what we do we try to change 103 by 48 improper fraction into mixed fraction so what i get children is 2 7 by 48 so you can do this and check so this is how we do sum of fraction unlike fractions so in the last sum i'll do five part two so please pause the video and copy so here we go to one of the hardest sum of this exercise children i know you are in class six but you need to go and prepare yourself nicely so here first step what i'll do is i will change this mixed fraction into improper fraction two ones are two two plus one three by two this is three twos are six plus two eight by three this will be four threes are twelve 12 plus 3, 15 by 4, 5 fours are 20, plus 4, 24 by 5. So, we change, I have a separate video, part 3 I think, where you see I have taught you how we convert your mixed fraction into improper fraction. Now, when you take LCM children, LCM of all this 2 3 4 5 2 numbers will go by 2 so I try with 2 okay so nothing is common now so LCM is 2 into 3 into 2 into 5 so this is 60 so LCM is 60 remember children there are two method I told you I'm using shortcut I want to make you understand this because this is easier but it is involves lot of calculation lot of space so shortcut method this is how detail i have not given here i have done one sum first sum by both method please see this so once i got 60 2 will go how many times in 60 so if you have any problem you can do in the rough work 60 divided by 2 this you divide by this you will get 30 okay this will give you 30 so 30 you multiply with this numerator 3 3 will go how many times you will get 20 3 will go how many times so 20 you multiply by 8 same way 4 4 will go how many times it will go 15 times ok how many times 5 will go 12 times it will go ok so we get 60 by 5 is 12 so you multiply 24 by 12 when you add this children you will get 763 by 60 
so you add 90 160 225 and this you will get 3 763 by 60 now you convert this into improper into mixed fraction so I get 1 za 60 will get 16 3 will come 2 za uh, 120 so you will get 12 43 by 60 so when you do you will get first add this divided by 60 convert it into this improper fraction into mixed fraction so you will get this so once more change mixed fraction into improper fraction find the LCM of the denominator see how many times each of this denominator goes with LCM note this and see 2 will go 30 times 3 will go 20 times 4 will go 15 times 5 will go 12 times so multiply each of the numerator with that number add them divided by 60 change improper fraction to mixed fraction so we come to the end of this video lesson kindly pause the video and copy and thank you boys for watching